Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at exposure on the Sigma FP. How far can you clip your highlights before they are gone? So the Sigma FP is a very new cinema camera, DSLR hybrid mirrorless, where it shoots DNG RAWs to an external hard drive, um, does so in 4K full frame, under $2,000. It is a uh, really unlike anything else on the market. But right as of right now, uh, March 2020, uh, it does not have a log profile. Um, <clears throat> why this is a big deal is that you can capture far more latitude on the camera than you're able to see on the camera right now. So the waveform will be telling you that your highlights are totally clipped but when you take it into post, uh, you'll see that you're able to reclaim those highlights so that they're not clipped. Um, when you're shooting a studio situation like this, it's not that big a deal, but when you're shooting outside and it's telling you the sky or part of the person's face is just gone, it's just blown out to white, and you're wondering, is it there, is it not there? Um, there are a couple of things that I want to share with you on my sort of tests uh, that are coming super helpful. Here you see skeleton head shot at the correct exposure. See on the waveform here, it is um, not clipping. This is F8, but I can open up two stops um, all the way to F2.8. And you'll see here, it is totally clipped on the waveform. But once I bring it into Resolve, uh, I can absolutely just pull the highlights down and all that information is there. I can actually go three stops clipped so all the way down to F2. And you can see here it's a little flat, but there's still detail there. If I can do some, um, if this was critical information, like this was the face of one of my actors or side of something um, that I wanted to read or the sky where I wanted to see clouds, I could pull this back three stops over where it says clipped in the histogram. Um, your friend is your light meter. Um, I, what I've been doing is taking readings, knowing that two stops over, um, on a, a white surface with some detail, like the skull or like skin, um, will be pretty easily retainable. Whereas three stops over, you can reclaim it, but you're sort of playing with fire. And then four stops over, it's it's probably clipped. Um, this will give you a little bit more indication of how far you can push the camera. Uh, and hopefully we'll get a log picture profile, which will then be able to record log externally, or at the very least be able to monitor the log with a waveform so you can see what the DNG raw is capturing from the camera and not have to um, you know, pull out your light meter and second guess things. It would be great to use false color as well, um, where it's actually telling you what's in and what's out. But as I said, right now, um, your waveform, uh, if you can see something that's just about to clip, you can go two stops over that and uh, be confident in the knowledge that it's still there in the DNGs, not in the MOVs, but definitely in the DNGs. Hopefully that's helpful for people out there. Um, I'm really enjoying using this camera. I think it's a, you know, an amazing uh, new technology. I hope to see the firmware support uh, the users soon. I'm gonna be doing a ton of Sigma FP content, so uh, make sure you subscribe, hit the notifications button. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.